That piece of Jericho. Hi. This is John Rollinson, <coughs> one of the friends of Zaturka Park. Who is that? John Rollinson. He's a neighbor and friend of Zaturka Park. Can you see this one? Yeah, that's okay. That's fine. Actually, could you turn it just a little bit so that the camera can see it? Really? <laughs> there we go. Okay. So this is. Can you set that thing back when it was. Yeah, you can do it at about 45 degree angle to us so that everyone can, see, the camera can see it. Yeah, I'll let me do it. So, Zaturka Park at the corner of Breckenridge and Huntington. Um, we are proposing to rehabilitate the whole park. It's become overgrown. The fields have become uneven. And um, the Hadley Recreation Commission and the CPA Commission voted to put $108,000 combined towards this, provided it passes town meeting. And we are here to see if um, there's anything you, that you can uh, can help us with as far as uh, the information we ought to have. And we have to could you explain what it is? It, it's it's a park. It's going to be used for public recreation. There is no change of the previous use. If you could just explain what your symbols are on the sheet. Oh, okay. So this is a field of about three quarters of an acre. This is a field of half an acre. There is a paved play area here. Um, That's existing or proposed? It's existing, okay. but it's going to be repaired. Okay. <clears throat> that is a... Uh, was that the old tennis court? Correct. Yep, it was a tennis court. This is a, um, a rose garden that residents were requesting. Um, another uh, resident is donating fruit trees for a small orchard. This is a bowl-shaped, kind of horseshoe-shaped... Uh, oh, it's a sand pit. It's an old sand pit. Yeah. So it's a natural amphitheater, so an amphitheater stage could um, you know, provide a place for a movie night or a, a play or maybe a, a concert. When you say residents are donating trees, you mean a butters or a residents of Hadley? Uh, There's actually a company, it's called Help Yourself. And it um, it gives trees to schools and local towns and so forth. Um, and they have thousands of trees to give away. And it may, may not just when you're thinking orchard, you're thinking apple pear. And, but these are just sort of edible uh, trees. But you said residents are giving the trees. I just wonder. He, yeah, no, he actually lives well, live in the in area. In yeah. Well, in okay. Yeah. Okay. But he also owns the uh, nonprofit organization that does this. Well, what's the red thing up top? That is a pavilion, about 20 by 30, where you could have picnics, barbecues, or you know, little summer camps. Of I'm assuming parking is the gray area right along Huntington? That is parking. And um, we added <coughs> a few spaces to what was there. Uh, we did a little, uh, little medium sized parking study and uh, based on past and projected uses, the rec department thinks they will need about 10 or 9 to 11 spaces for the programs they have proposed. Compared to other similar parks within 10 miles, um, um, <coughs> we have 14.4 um, parking spacers per acre, while the average is only 10.3 spaces per acre. So, Jim, the, uh, the reason they're here, I, I'm the planning board representative to the CPA committee and the fact that the, uh, the concern why this was abandoned was the fact that the parking was practically on Huntington Road. So uh, I just wanted to make sure that I didn't make the unilateral decision. Uh, planning board could look at it and see if it's it's acceptable to them, or is there going to be additional parking within there? Because mm -hmm. the backfield may be a soccer field if you have a, a soccer match for the young kids. So uh, you're going to need some parking somewhere. And in fact, the original design that John so uh, amazingly did was just a computer-generated image of a field, and it actually had the soccer lines on it. But we don't intend to have it a soccer field or any organized sport there. It really is just a green space. Um, 
you know, your home is where your park is, and, and we're hoping that this is what people think about this area. Um, park and Rec certainly won't uh, organize any sports there. This is literally just a place to go and enjoy the outdoor. So these um, small fields aren't even big enough to have an organized soccer uh, game on them. And, and thank you, yes, you're 100% right, that if there were organized sports, we, we would definitely need more parking just for the team alone. Um, but that's not the case with this particular park. What is that dotted line, yellow line around the place? This, this is a hard pack uh, road, which is drivable <coughs> up to that point. Is, is now, is there enough room there to put single line parking on that road? If you um, need the road a little wider? Because I, I, to me, all that area you got there, there's, there, that is not enough parking for that. Then they're going to end up parking on a road. Right. Well, it depends on the event. Let's see, we have... And again, this is a concept. So part of the problem that came up when that was in more current use was, yes, you could park, Little League was there. Mm -hmm. So you could, you could park in along, you park nose in along Huntington Road there, right where those lines are now. But parents didn't like to park there because it was Little League. <laughs> there, there, You're right. there are foul balls going all around, so yeah, that's why remember. people tended to park up on Breckenridge uh, just to stay away. Mm -hmm. And if there's no, there's no baseball going on there, no. um, there will be though. I mean, if it's going to be informal or formal, okay, go, 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 there will be plenty of it. Yeah, the, you know, the, the biggest thing is the parking concern. Obviously, mm -hmm. you know, if they could park on the yellow line, dotted line, that would be great. Because okay. if you go to if you go to twenty if you got your pavilion up there when they could have a little get together I mean people are going to be using it and twenty by thirty pavilion is pretty good size you could have fifty people easily there mm -hmm, mm -hmm. at it and you know that that's fine as long as parking is provided like John said they could park on that yellow road that would be great make it a little wider yeah how right, wide no. how wide is the yellow road can you make that road wider you absolutely could, well yeah, go ahead make it wider. Yeah, yeah, actually, this is where the mound is. The little there's a piece here, and there's a, a the monument is here. So this whole area is workable, um, all the way actually to first base is workable. We have to, we did talk to excavators, and they said that's certainly um, graded yeah. enough. It could no, be they, with they, some they work. It could be park, another like, parking no, area. No, park on one side, the car to drive on the other. That's really all you need. You could there's there's that there's a lot of parking on within that yellow space, if you would. I would think. Yeah, there actually is a lot of space in between that um, Breckenridge corner and the Huntington, just in that area alone. So you're 100% right that there could be enough parking and then the back out area in that area. But you're right that this is a concept and we appreciate your time and helping us. Um, I mean, it looks very nice. Decide. You know, the, I think the concept of the little, whatever you want to call it, call it you know, I'm sure park is the right word, but at least it's a. So nice areas for a green people space. Probably, you know, yeah. well, hopefully it's well utilized by townspeople. We do hope so. Some parking in there for future use. So. Absolutely, we agree, and and yeah. we will work that into the final concept. But so. at this point, we were just hoping to, you know, bring you on board with us and um, understand what's happening. We talked to Capital Planning last night, and they're 100%. It was a unanimous vote for in our favor. So. We're just bringing awareness about this project to all of the boards, and we just um, we really welcome all of the help that we can Where's get. What's the boundary line on that? Is that right to bust that road? If you can see these black lines, that's the, the property boundary there. All these other lines are elevation lines, they're contours. Is there any possibility of, of going to the slot and seeing off-road parking right off the Breckenridge Road? And having the footpaths going down. I mean, put it off, the off that side. Is there any way? Is that too much of a hill due to cut down? It's a pretty yeah. large hill. I mean, a well, steep grade. Steep. There is a path in the woods, so you could you could put cars parallel on the road. And, well, and you have to. We can't. Yeah, we can't keep them on the road. Yeah, there's, there's, it probably wouldn't be a good area to park a car. It really is there. pretty steep, and there isn't that much. You think there is in, in thinking about it, but there really isn't. The road is here, and the trees start right away. Yeah, so then if you can put single lane on the dotted line, exactly. that, that would handle everything. So you're, you're a little bit of a gray area because we do have parking requirements for uh, uh, 
limited business, business and industrial zones. We don't really have parking requirements for a park in a residential district um, mm -hmm. because we don't have any others. Yeah, I, I was thinking about the, for example, when you're walking on the uh, dike here at the Dawson uh, and how, how many parking spots are there, but then how many people can actually walk on that piece of property. You know, it could be 100 that day. But if it's a really great day, right? So it, it is unusual. Like, I don't know how to uh, figure that out. But when we get the final design, that's why we're here, is to try to, to understand how one comes up with that. And John did a great job trying to figure out the local parks and how they have come to the Where's the solar field in relation to this? Is that out, out of the picture? If you went down this road, it's another. Uh... No, not the one at the end. The one off of Breckenridge. Isn't there a field behind? Isn't there a Solar oh, the huh. Yeah. Solar farm. Well, that's over the hill. No, no, no. It's been proposed, but they haven't built, built it yet. Oh, Carl's built. excavating is in between. Like, Carl's excavating that's Carl's is road. here. Yeah. Yeah. This is Carl's. Okay, yeah, so that was where it, there okay. was going to be a solar field, but that apparently has, that I, has not happened. Right. Yeah. But yeah. Was that on Carl's property? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and that's right there. Right? That's so correct. That's the same thing. We had approved yes. it, but I understand they're having uh, issues figuring out how to interconnect from that spot. They, yeah. Um, yeah, the wiring is not right for, for up there, so <coughs> it never went through for that there's reason. No, there's no three phase up there? I think there's, there's three phase on Huntington. But there's not three phase on Breckenridge, oh. and mm. if you start talking about stringing three phase all the way over, you've got a very expensive uh, add-on. Okay. Mm. And it was not able to connect to the other one that we approved earlier, further down on uh, Huntington, because there's inter intervening land. Mm -hmm. Okay. How far is that backfield? Is that right on a, almost on the property line in the back? There's a, a kind of a berm. It's about 20 feet high that separates their access road from. What is that? Is that road on your property? No, no. That that's road, the Carl's. Road. That's Carl's. The road sand pit. The right? sand pit. Their access. Where's Eddie Kolinsky's property start? Up on the hill. Way beyond oh, that. Way up by you. Past the pit. Yeah. Right there it goes. Yeah. And it butts that curls, right? Correct. Right. Anything else? Okay. Thank you. Well, I mean, we, can we allow them to, to it, it's a, it's put extra parking right around that road for that project? We, we can allow them to do it on their property. It's on, on Breckenridge that we can have no say on it. No, they'd have to go to Slutman. Right. Well, but I mean, if they can... Right, a yellow roll with it, they've already... That's, that's, that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not... Uh, I'm actually not sure this technically comes directly under our jurisdiction, but we work with things like this a lot. Uh, I think... Let's see, the park and rec's going to run it. Mm -hmm, yes. So, yeah, there's going to be a town function, so between Park and Rec and the Select Board, I think they probably have more direct say in what goes here, but you know, we're happy to give you our input. Absolutely, that's why we're here. Sell it. We're hoping that it passes um, um, at town meeting, that the 88,000 in addition in conjunction with what it. What happened to the thought about selling it? Well, uh, the friends and the abutting neighbors came forth and said, please don't, we'll do whatever we can and uh, spend tireless hours as they have. Thank you very much to the friends of Saturka Park. and. Uh, and here we are. So, I'm glad yeah. that's being done because Joseph Turkey, your grandfather, was a good man for the town. Thank you very much for mentioning that. Thank you. Did an awful lot for this town. Thank you very much. So, you don't see any barriers to the to the project? Mm -hmm. the, the biggest concern we've got is the parking. The rest of the stuff is pretty, to be honest, mundane as far as we're looking at. Where, you know, where is all the drainage going to go from that basin? It doesn't drain, it's pure sand. <coughs> it's, it's, it's There's not going to be no drainage coming from them fields onto the road? 
No. No, it is sort of at existing as is. The excavators has, have said this feels like a clean up and redesign to us that, you know, it, it will look just better, but it will be where it is at this point. It's all sand here, so Correct. Yeah, leaching back in the ground. The, the, That's the water soaks away so fast, if it doesn't rain for two weeks at my house, the lawn's brown. <laughs> Sandy area. Yeah. Well, it's all sand there. Yeah. yeah. I think it probably got keeping water in the ground. Yeah, yeah. You're right. Add some compost. Different different areas of Hadley are very strange. And if you go half a mile in one direction, you'll find clay that you can't do anything with the water <laughs> except run it off. Right. But that's the way the land, the glaciers did it, whatever, thousands of years ago. So so be it. Mm -hmm. okay. So you'd like to see us add a, a couple more spaces to the 18 we've got. What we'd like to do is see the parking along the yellow, if you would, the ridge road. Okay. So that you could park on one side of it, enough room to park um, parallel parking all the way on the yellow lines and still be able to travel with a car. Right. Because and we and think that we, we think that you're going to need it. Okay, because if you become successful, you will need it. There's no doubt about right. that. Otherwise, it'll, so it'll, limit, it'll limit the use. Yeah. That's correct. And, yeah. yeah but you'll you also have to put it, probably a turn around in the, somewhere where a car can drive in, and turn around in the middle, and then in, in the back there. Yeah. You know? Yeah. True. Mm -hmm. You're right. Ma maintain one way traffic through there. You're right. Mm. That's a thought. Absolutely. Mm. You know, there'll have to be some pull-offs because if the car is coming back this way and then you've got yeah. all the cars. Right. Right. Once the brush is cleared, you could, you could pass across here. You can't make that road go right around the whole park? <laughs> uh, it sort of ends here and then it's not hard packed anymore. But um, I mean, for the future, for, for the future, if you needed it, hmm. could you make a loop right around the whole thing? You, you could. You could, actually. I think that would really work. The well. neighborhood's well, property, that, yeah. we own all the way to um, the Dickinson property, which is the house there. So the or the grade goes up right to his basic, right to his driveway. But there is a nice area there that could follow that loop around yeah. and back into. Uh, if you don't need Huntington. to have an outfield anymore, you no, exactly. You could loop around. Yeah. So if you had a loop, if you had a horseshoe loop there with that would solve wide enough problems. to park one lane of... And then we'd have roller skates. In true traffic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you probably you may not even need the parking. Well, I don't know if you need the parking in the front or not on, on, on uh, Huntington, the gray area that's, that'd be up to right. remain to be seen. That's an interesting thought. That's why we're here. We appreciate Which you it. Could, you could make the field a smidge bigger that way in the front. Mm -hmm. What about porta potties? Are you going to have any sanitary facilities? Yeah, so the so the pavilion is set so that eventually another phase we would like to see um, bathrooms and such there. However, now Park and Rec has porta potties at our elementary school, our Hopkins mm -hmm. Academy, uh, Senior Center, all of the fields that we access and use during the months. Uh, we do do sanitary, <coughs> so we will do one here as well. Okay. Looks nice, much better than getting rid of it. Thank you. I think so too. Yeah. Anything else? No? Okay. Good. Thank you for your time. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you.